Atrial fibrillation, commonly referred to as AFib, stands as the most prevalent heart rhythm disorder today, casting a shadow over millions of lives globally. It is characterized by an irregular and often rapid heart rate that can lead to a range of complications, including stroke, heart failure, and other heart-related problems. While the benefits of regular exercise on cardiovascular health cannot be overstated, a paradox exists within the realm of extreme exercise and endurance athletes. This group, known for their superior physical conditioning and stamina, appears to be at an increased risk of developing exercise-induced atrial fibrillation. Endurance sports subject the heart to prolonged periods of intense activity and prolonged exposure periods of anaerobic metabolism and elevated lactic acid levels. Exercise in moderation fortifies heart health but, when taken to extremes, can lead to a condition known as exercise-induced atrial fibrillation. Clinical studies have illuminated a critical factor contributing to this phenomenon, increased cardiac fibrosis or the scarring of heart tissue noted endurance athletes. This fibrosis is the body's response to the relentless demand placed on the heart by enduring prolonged physical exertion, which in turn leads to structural changes predisposing athletes to arrhythmias. The development of fibrosis signifies a complex interplay between the heart's adaptive mechanisms to sustained exercise and its repercussions. These structural changes create a fertile ground for disturbances in the heart's electrical conduction system, giving rise to atrial fibrillation. Moreover, the imbalance between the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems, exacerbated by intense physical activity, further destabilizes the heart's electrical environment, increasing the risk of AFib. Additionally, the constant high pressure on the pulmonary arteries and left atrium during prolonged endurance activities contributes to atrial strain and enlargement, compounding the risk of developing atrial fibrillation. When it comes to managing exercise-induced atrial fibrillation, the approach is multi-pronged, aiming not only to reduce the frequency and severity of the arrhythmia, but also to address the underlying risk factors and symptoms. Lifestyle modifications often serve as the initial step in this journey, with a focus on adjusting training intensity and volume to alleviate excessive atrial strain and autonomic imbalance. However, the usual lifestyle modifications for AFib, such as healthy eating and weight loss, are usually not applicable to patients with exercise-induced AFib, as they are usually already very healthy and at a normal weight. However, screening for alcohol use and checking for sleep apnea can be useful even in athletic patients with AFib. Adjusting training schedules by reducing the amount, frequency, and duration of endurance sports may improve AFib symptoms. In general, power sports or exercise, like weight training, are not significantly associated with risk for atrial fibrillation. Medical therapy can play a pivotal role in the treatment landscape of exercise-induced AFib. Rate control medications and anticoagulants are frequently prescribed to manage symptoms and mitigate the associated risks, such as stroke. Antiarrhythmic drugs also feature prominently in the therapeutic arsenal, tasked with maintaining normal heart rhythm and preventing recurrences of AFib, though their application must be judiciously weighed against potential side effects and their implications for athletic performance. In addition, many athletic patients with AFib have a normal resting bradycardia or slow heart rate. As a result, treatment of AFib with medical therapy can be very challenging as most AFib medications tend to make the heart slower. For those cases where medical therapy falls short, catheter ablation emerges as a compelling option. This minimally invasive procedure, which targets the pulmonary veins to isolate erratic electrical signals, has shown promise in restoring normal rhythm and enabling athletes to resume competitive sports. However, the decision to pursue catheter ablation is highly individualized, factoring in the athlete's specific condition and aspirations. In general, most patients that I have had with exercise-induced AFib chose a catheter ablation to improve AFib symptoms due to ineffectiveness or intolerance to medical therapy. The narrative of exercise-induced atrial fibrillation highlights a nuanced relationship between intense physical activity and heart health. While endorsing exercise as a pillar of a healthy lifestyle, endurance athletes are encouraged to maintain vigilance for signs of AFib and adopt a balanced approach to their training regimens. 
For those diagnosed with the condition, a tailored treatment plan that harmonizes the management of AFib with athletic pursuits and adjusting training schedules can facilitate continued engagement in sports while safeguarding heart health. In essence, the dialogue surrounding endurance exercise and AFib underscores the importance of a comprehensive and nuanced understanding of cardiovascular health through proactive screening, balanced exercise routines, and personalized treatment strategies, athletes can navigate the challenges of exercise. Induced atrial fibrillation, ensuring their passion for sport does not come at the expense of their heart health, 